everyone, my name is Ingrid and welcome again. Today for Affordable April I'm going to take a look at whether it's worth saving money or splurging on beauty products. To follow an order we'll start with cleansers and here I've got quite a pricey cleanser and uh, it's difficult to decide whether to save or to splurge because basically there are two schools of thought. On one hand we could think well it's not going to stay on your skin for very long, so what's the point in spending loads of money on magical cleansing products? Uh, and on the other hand, you could think, well, it's worth spending money on a good cleanser because uh, it's the first most important step when taking care of your skin. What do I do? Well, most of the time I think it's best to find a healthy middle. Um, I do think that some uh, low-cost cleansers are not actually very good and I do worry that I am not taking off all my makeup properly and I do think that's very very important to have clear beautiful skin. Uh, nevertheless I don't think it, there's any point in spending uh, 40 50 pounds on a cleanser because I think it's better spent uh, in other areas. So if you can find a good drugstore cleanser that will work well for you and that you can be assured that you're actually cleaning your face properly I think you can save money. Next we'll go on to skincare and um, I think that skincare is the one place where we really must splurge, splurge and splurge. Uh, particularly in the case of serums. I do think that serums such as this one by Estee Lauder which is ridiculously expensive, I do think they make a massive amount of difference. I really really noticed when I started using serums daily and it really made a difference to my fine lines uh, and um, maybe perhaps wrinkles. I actually don't have any wrinkles at the moment. Uh, I only have a few fine lines and I do seem to keep them at bay with a good, um, a good serum. Uh, nevertheless, I do think it's worth spending more on the serum than on the moisturiser. So I think that if you want to spend money, spend the money on a good serum and save it on the moisturiser. Sometimes uh, moisturisers uh, are just as good from the drugstore because they contain fewer products and like that they are less irritating on the skin. So in the case of a serum, I really think you must spend money. What about eye cream? Well, I think it's important to invest in a good eye cream. Here I've got Estee Lauder eye cream, which is the one I'm using at the moment, but there are many different ones. And uh, basically a lot of people use the same moisturiser for the face and for the area of the eyes. And I don't think the skin is the same around the eyes as the rest of the face. So I do think it's important to have a dedicated moisturiser for the area of your eyes or serum or whatever you prefer. Um, I think when you're younger it doesn't really matter, but as you start to get older and you worry about fine lines and wrinkles, um, it is a good idea to invest in a good eye cream and especially one that does not make your eyes feel irritated. In my opinion, in the case of eye creams, better to splurge. Now that we've dealt with skincare, we go on to makeup. And first of all, we start with foundation. And foundation, whether we should splurge or save. Um, I think this is a bit of a personal matter, but uh, I think it is worth splurging on foundation. I think the first step in beautiful makeup is to have flawless skin. And um, I do think that drugstore foundations are better and better all the time, but I do think that uh, high-end foundations do have the edge. They last longer, they look more flawless, and um, they just overall better. Uh, they match my skin tone better. So I do think it's better to spend a little bit more money on your foundation, buy one that will be good for your skin, that will not be harmful, that it will make it look the best it can possibly be, uh, and then you can save on other areas. As for concealer, I also personally prefer to splurge on concealer. Um, I think that the skin around your eyes is very, very delicate, so I'm very wary of what I put uh, there. So I do like to spend a little bit more money and also to make sure it looks brighter and it looks beautiful and uh, that it doesn't crease. So I tend to look for high-end concealers. And now onto primers. And I do think that primers are a bit of a recent thing uh, that cosmetic brands are really um, researching into. And we have primers for almost everything nowadays. We have them for enlarged pores, uh, mattifying primers, uh, eyeshadow primers. You have all sorts of primers. And um, I do think that uh, in most cases it is worth 
uh, splurging and spending. For instance, uh, as an eyeshadow primer, I use the Urban Decay one, which is very good. And I have tried uh, drugstore primers that are just uh, don't do what they are supposed to. I do think it's worth spending money on a primer because it's something that's going to be in contact with your skin. And most of these primers, they do have like a lot of silicones and products that maybe are not as good for you. So I do think it's worth splurging and making sure that you get a primer that is actually good for you rather than harmful. So in the case of primer, I think it's better to splurge. And now on to bronzer, and the bronzer that I use most of the time is actually high-end, but I do think that you can save a lot of money on bronzer. I think that high street bronzers are basically just as good as high-end ones. Obviously, maybe they don't have the lasting power, and sometimes the colour can be a little bit off, but if you find a good shade of bronzer from the high street, I think you can save a lot of money and it's not really worth splurging loads on. So in the case of bronzer, I think we can save. Now that we've seen bronzer, it's time for blush. And I have high-end blushes and I also have uh, cheap high street blushes. And in my opinion, it's not really worth splurging on blushes. I mean, obviously, if you're a little bit addicted to makeup, like I'm, I am, um, you like spending money on products like this, but I do think that you can save a lot of money just by buying uh, drugstore blushes. I think there are some very, very good options out there. You even have cream blushes and tints and all sorts of uh, types of blush blushes that before only used to be available in high-end uh, makes. So, um, if I think you should uh, splurge or save on blushes, I think you can save. And now onto one of my favourite makeup products, which are eyeshadows. And I have both high-end eyeshadows and high street eyeshadows, and I must say that in this case, it's somewhere where you can really save money. And um, nowadays, Many different makes, such as Sleek, uh, have absolutely wonderful eyeshadows that uh, if you use in the correct way with a primer and with good um, brushes, you can really create absolutely beautiful looks um, just as if you were wearing uh, very expensive eyeshadows. And also, I must say that some very high-end uh, brands, such as Chanel or Yves Saint Laurent, or Dior sometimes are quite disappointing in their eyeshadows, so their palettes can be quite hit or miss. So in this case, I really think it's not worth spending loads of money unless you <laughs> you really fall in love with something and you really want to buy it anyway. But I do think that in the case of eyeshadows, we can save. I have just talked about powder eyeshadows, but what about cream shadows? Do we think we should spend money or save money? Well, in this case, I also think we can save money. Um, cream eyeshadows used to be basically exclusive to high-end makes because it was a relatively new formulation. But in recent years, uh, many drugstore brands, some of which actually belong to the same uh, owners as uh, their high-end counterparts, are now starting to sell um, drugstore vo versions of these cream eyeshadows. And I think you can really find absolutely amazing options in the drugstore without having to spend tons and tons of money on expensive cream eyeshadows. So, in the case of cream eyeshadows, you can also save money. Now, what about eyeliners, both pencil form and liquid? Well, in this case, I think you can also save money. Um, very many drugstore brands have absolutely wonderful eye pencils and really, really great eyeliners. I do think that liquid eyeliners don't last very long and they dry up very quickly, so I don't think it's worth spending tons of money on expensive uh, liquid eyeliner. As for pencils, um, obviously high-end pencils are usually creamier, they last a little longer, but they're absolutely wonderful options from the high street, such as the Rimmel Scandalize, which are almost like the Urban Decay 24-7. So in the case of eyeliners, we can also save money. And now, finally, for eye makeup, we must not forget mascara. And uh, in this case, I truly, truly believe there is basically no point in spending tons and tons of money on mascara. Mascara is a product that doesn't last very long. Um, it expires very, very quickly. It dries up uh, also very quickly. And uh, I do think that uh, high street uh, brands have absolutely amazing mascaras, uh, such as Maybelline and L'Oreal. 
they do have absolutely wonderful mascaras. You do have to shop around and test them, and some of them are terrible, but I do think that you can find an absolutely wonderful option out there in the drugstore. So, mascaras, save, save, save! And now onto one of my most exciting makeup products, which are lipsticks, and I absolutely adore buying and hoarding lipsticks. <laughs> and here I have an expensive option, which is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, which I'm wearing today. And here I have a cheaper drugstore lipstick, which I wore in my last video, which is uh, the Rimmel Kate, Kate Moss lipstick. And in the case of lipsticks, I really think you can save money. Um, obviously, uh, in the case of drugstore lipsticks, you will have to try because there are many that are not very nice whatsoever, they don't smell very well or they don't last as long and the formulation can be a little off, but you can find absolute gems in the high street. Uh, as for drugstore lipsticks, I love to spend money on them because they are extremely luxurious. Um, you really, um, it is a safer bet in most cases. I know that I can buy a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and it will be amazing and it will last a long time. Whereas in the drugstore, it's a little bit hit and miss. Nevertheless, in the case of lipsticks, if I think you can really save money. Now, what about makeup brushes? Do I think we should spend money or save money? Well, in the case of makeup brushes, I do think it is worth investing in high-end makeup brushes. I do think that they really make a difference in the way you apply your makeup and in the way you do your looks and the way it, it blends them out. I also think they are much softer, softer on the skin and um, I think that is very important, especially in, around your eyes uh, where the skin is quite delicate. Um, I think it really makes such a big difference uh, to your makeup look when you use uh, good brushes. It really makes your foundation look flawless, your eye looks will, will be much better blended, and you will even get more pigmentation out of your eyeshadows. So I think it's better to have expensive brushes and then maybe save on the eyeshadows, for instance. Um, obviously there are some very good uh, drugstore options out there, like the Real Techniques brushes, and I have heard that Sigma brushes are also quite good, uh, but if you want to um, if you want to be safe rather than sorry, I think it is worth uh, spending some money on brushes. And what about nail polishes? Do you think it's worth spending money on expensive nail polish, or can you get away with cheaper options? I think that, at least in my case, there's no point in spending money on expensive nail polishes. I actually have found that some drugstore options last much longer on the nails than their high-end um, makes. Um, obviously, you do have to be careful because um, some drugstore nail polishes can have harmful, toxic products that can actually make your nails um, deteriorate with time and use. But um, I think if you take good care of your nails and you find uh, good options out there in the drugstore, you can save a lot of money and you can have a lot of fun trying lots of different colours. So I think you can save money. Now I'm going to talk very briefly about hair care because I do think it's very important to have beautiful, shiny, healthy hair. And uh, in the case of shampoo and conditioner, I do think it's worth splurging on a good make. Uh, I notice almost immediately when I use uh, cheaper hair products uh, because my hair is quite dry naturally so it does get very brittle and very dry and difficult to work with. I'd rather spend a little bit more money on a better uh, make such as Red Ken and uh, like that I use less product, I don't need to use as much of it and uh, my hair will look much better much quicker. As for hairsprays and texturizing sprays and dry shampoo and things like that, uh, as they're not actually related to the care and the health of your hair, I don't think it's worth spending tons of money on. Um, you use them up quite quickly and they cost a lot of money, so I do think it's better to buy a drugstore option. So, on one hand, spend money on a hair care, but save money in the case of hairspray and the likes. So this has been an absolutely enormous video. I hope you're still here <laughs> at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and please press the like if you think that this video was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye!